News as the weather changes, we are seeing a surge in the respiratory illness called RSV. Children's Health Hospital in Dallas says it's already seen 300 cases just this month. And in Fort Worth, Cook Children's Hospital tested more than 500 patients for the virus over the last week. 58 came back positive. Now this year, there is a new way to help prevent severe illness from this virus. Mandy Gaither has more about a new RSV treatment for babies. It's a new weapon against a common and contagious virus that may change the hold that RSV can have over young children during respiratory virus season. It gives an extra layer of protection to these babies, so if they get RSV, they won't get as sick. Dr. Juanita Mora with the American Lung Association says the new treatment is a monoclonal antibody. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends it for all babies younger than eight months born during or entering their first RSV season. A vaccination can also be given during pregnancy if you're 32 to 36 weeks pregnant in RSV season, which is September through January in most of the country. The antibody is also recommended for some children between the ages of 8 and 19 months who are at higher risk of severe illness because of a pre-existing condition. Now it's readily available in pediatricians' offices, and it's also available in um Department of Health clinics. Most people, including infants who get RSV, have only mild symptoms similar to a cold, but it can also be severe, even life-threatening. Mora says RSV can cause dehydration if a child won't eat or drink and can make it hard to breathe. These are the two indications that I teach parents where they should take them immediately to the emergency department. For Health Minute, I'm Andy Gaither.